FOMO in the age of COVID-19, a new perspective. The COVID-19 may be history, but it is worth reviewing its impact from the perspective of FOMO. This pandemic has dramatically reshaped how we live, work, and interact with the world around us. In a time of lockdowns, social distancing, and isolation, many of the traditional triggers for FOMO social gatherings, travel, and public events came to a halt. Yet, even in this global slowdown, FOMO found new ways to manifest itself, and in some cases, intensified as the world adjusted to life online. A shift in what we fear missing out on, before the pandemic, FOMO was often driven by a fear of missing out on experiences, concerts, parties, vacations, or professional opportunities. Social media made it easy to see what others were doing, sparking envy and the urge to keep up. But during COVID-19, those experiences were no longer accessible to most of us. Instead, the fear of missing out shifted towards different concerns, missing out on a sense of connection, stability, or productivity. In a time of uncertainty, we were more aware of what others were doing to cope, achieve, or even thrive during lockdown. The pressure to stay productive while working from home, to learn new skills, or to make the most of the extra, time at home became a new form of FOMO. Social media feeds were filled with people baking bread, mastering hobbies, or turning their isolation into something meaningful. Meanwhile, others struggled to adjust, feeling overwhelmed by the crisis and its challenges, which only deepened their sense of missing out. The mental health toll, for many, the pandemic exacerbated feelings of loneliness, anxiety, and depression often amplified by FOMO. Social media played a dual role, offering a lifeline for connection, but also serving as a constant reminder of what others were doing or accomplishing in isolation. Those who are already struggling with mental health issues found the added pressure of FOMO to be even more harmful, as it highlighted the disparity between how they were coping and how others seemed to be managing. The pandemic also forced many of us to reevaluate our relationships with friends, family, and colleagues. For some, it became a time to reflect on the importance of deeper connections, while others felt increasingly disconnected, heightening the fear of being left behind in social circles that had become fragmented by distance and isolation. A new perspective. Yet, in the midst of the pandemic, FOMO also opened the door to a new perspective. The slower pace of life during lockdown allowed many to step back and reconsider what truly matters. The absence of constant social activity and travel prompted a re-evaluation of priorities, and for some, the realization that they didn't need to be constantly in the know or chasing after the next big thing to find fulfillment. This period of forced reflection helped many people recognize the value of JOMO, the joy of missing out. With fewer distractions and a simpler way of living, there was an opportunity to find contentment in solitude, focus on self-care, and appreciate life's smaller moments. The pandemic, while deeply challenging, allowed people to rediscover hobbies, strengthen family bonds, and reconnect with themselves. The fear of missing out on health, perhaps one of the most profound shifts during the pandemic, was the increased awareness of health both physical and mental. FOMO in the age of COVID-19 took on new meaning as people feared missing out on the most basic necessity, health and safety. The pandemic reminded us how fragile life can be and shifted our focus from superficial desires to more essential needs. People who previously chased material wealth, social status, or fleeting experiences began to prioritize their health and well-being. The fear of missing out on a healthy lifestyle, or even life itself, brought attention to the importance of self-care, preventive measures, and mental health. This collective shift towards prioritizing health over everything else is one of the lasting legacies of the pandemic's impact on FOMO. Balancing FOMO and Gratitude 
While FOMO is often associated with negative emotions, the pandemic has also provided an opportunity to balance that fear with gratitude. The uncertainty and loss experienced during COVID-19 highlighted the importance of being thankful for what we have, rather than focusing on what we're missing. Many people found solace in appreciating their health, the safety of their loved ones, and the simple pleasures that had once been taken for granted. By embracing gratitude, we can begin to break free from the relentless cycle of FOMO. Instead of constantly longing for what others have or what we're missing, we can find contentment in the present moment and the things that truly matter in life. This shift in perspective, brought about by the unique challenges of the pandemic, offers a powerful tool for combating FOMO in the post-COVID world. Conclusion The COVID-19 pandemic changed how we experience and respond to FOMO, shifting our focus from external experiences to internal well-being and personal fulfillment. While the pressures of FOMO still exist, the global slowdown gave many of us a chance to reconsider what's important and to embrace the joy of missing out. As we move forward, the lessons learned during this time offer a new perspective, one that prioritizes health, gratitude, and meaningful connections over the need to have or do it all. In this way, the pandemic, though tragic, has helped many people rethink FOMO and perhaps find a healthier balance in their lives. The background music is from Defomo Stunning music, stunning nature, fighting anxiety. You can find it in my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.